Follow these steps to install your Raspberry Pi 5 board into this case. Remove the two screws holding the case back in place. Once the case back is off, remove all of the parts from inside of the case. If you would like to have the GPIO cover open, you can unscrew the GPIO cover from the inside of the top part of the case at this time. Remove the stickers from both sides of the thermal conductive pad and place the pad on the chip contact point of the case. Connect the fan to the fan port on the Raspberry Pi board and install the board into place by sliding the board in with the port side first. Use your finger to ensure that the fan wires do not get stuck between the heatsink column and the chip. Use the screws from the screws for Pi board bag to attach the board to the upper part of the case. Be sure to note that the holes that are being used for these screws and use these holes only. Now you can decide if you want to have the SD card covered. If you would like to have the SD card covered, then place the SD card cover in place as shown. If you do not want the SD card covered, you can skip this step and continue to the next step. Place the bottom case back in place with the white circles facing upward and the SD card slot aligned with the opening on the case back and secure the case back with the two screws that were removed when you started. When the board is initially powered on, the fan will run at full speed for a few seconds and then turn off. The fan will then stay off until the OS determines that the board temp is getting high. If the temp gets high, the fan will then turn on and adjust the RPM automatically.